It was a beautiful day today. It was warm, a little humid, but overall not a bad day. 85 degrees in Springfield, 82 in Branson. Notice temperatures today did not get out of the 70s in our eastern counties. That's where that cloud coverage stuck around just a little bit longer today. 87 was the high in Joplin. It was a great day. Lots of sunshine. Temperatures had no problem making it into the 80s this afternoon. Still pretty warm. 75 in Springfield, 70 in Branson, 69 in West Plain, 69 up in Rolla, and 73 in Joplin. Dew points in the lower to middle, some upper 60s, so still a little sticky, a little humid out there. And we do have one more humid and sticky day through the day tomorrow. Not a whole lot going on on radar. Things are quiet, and they'll stay quiet through the rest of the overnight hours. That same low pressure system that has bring, brought us rain over the last several days, we're still stuck in its circulation, so we are still going to have some isolated shower chances through the day tomorrow and a couple of clouds sticking around as well. Good news is, though, it looks like tomorrow's actually going to be a little bit drier than originally anticipated. So that's some pretty good news. Very isolated shower chances through the day tomorrow. And then we'll stay dry through much of the beginning of next week. So through the rest of the overnight hours, temperatures will drop into the 60s. We might have some patchy fog developing and some clouds will stick around. Tomorrow morning, by the time you get up, still some clouds sticking around. And we'll keep, again, those isolated shower chances very hit or miss through the day tomorrow. Not everybody's going to see rain. Not going to be a complete washout. Temperatures still not going to have any problems making it into the 80s. Sunday night into Monday, a very quiet cold front is going to come through, bring in some clouds, not expecting any widespread main rain, maybe a shower or two, and then behind it is cooler, drier, and more pleasant air. It's going to knock back our humidity. Dew points will be in the 40s and 50s, cool at night, comfortable warm during the day, and mostly dry for the beginning of the week. Overnight tonight, some patchy fog developing with temperatures in the 60s. Tomorrow, if you want to go golfing, I think it'll be a great day. Again, we still have that isolated shower chance, so you might want to bring your umbrella. But otherwise, temperatures still going to make it into the 80s. If you want to go fishing tomorrow, again, maybe an isolated shower. Monday and Tuesday honestly look like the best days to go fishing because it's going to be so beautiful those days. And then Wednesday, we do have a chance of showers for the day. Temperatures still in the 70s, though. A nice day again on Thursday. And then maybe some shower chances returning by next week with temperatures back up in the 80s. we got to have one little day of rain. The grass needs it. You're right. Yeah. We don't want it to dry out. That's right. Thank you so much, <laughs> Beth. Well, in about 24 hours, the blue.